Jose say, tired of y'all niggas thinking I just only eat chicken, but I ain't just about sweet and sour chicken, lemon and pepper chicken, buffalo wings. I want some beef. All right, you decide to jump in the pool too, eh, Rose? All right, then let's see what you're talking about on this diss track. Boy, like I say, the cat 19 virus is all the way up. COVID-19 out the window, Rose. Let me get my full screen going here. This is your first time on the channel, guys. Road to 50K. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, help a brother out. Give me the bars, give me the beats, Rose. See what you talk. Fish tanks and marble floors, living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Hold on, let's go back. I had to buy it just the volume. Hold on. Fish tanks and marble floors, living big and bad. Yeah. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. All right, Drizzy, this one is an official job to you, eh? So that's what we're all saying. This is an official job. This ain't a leak one. This is an official. You know what I mean? They just putting it out there. Hey, Drizzy, this one at you. Okay, Rosie. Step up the game. Fish tanks and marble floors, living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Rec Ghost writers get the floss, what you could have had. Hold on, because you know Drake been famous for saying he have ghost riders and stuff like that, but that's a nice little slick line right now. I think that is the same, but look here. Even though these dudes can bend stuff for you, they can still leave the best for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Don't think dudes can give you the best shit ever. They can leave the good stuff for them. I mean, that's how you're supposed to do anyway. The exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label taking a loss, are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind to my hey boy say you was a worker, don't make me laugh. All right, big boss talk for the MMG boss, he's trying to say, because he still under young money like Drake. He ain't have his own label and whatnot like that. All right, Rose. 15 seconds and you done throw a couple slaps. Are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind tell by my watch. This a different time. Living fine. I'm getting high as your shit decline. Who believe? Getting high as your shit decline. I don't know how you feel about that. Because I don't think at the end of the day, Drake is going to lose steam because of this. I don't see his numbers going down in any kind of sense. I mean, if that is happening and he notices it, good pick up on. I'm just saying in the long stream of this, this old ball rim, because Drake has never really backed down from an opponent, if you really think about it. Drake is, he might have lost against Pusha T, won against Meek Mill, all the other little smaller beefs that he had here and there. Drake has never really backed down from a situation. And no matter what situation he was in, it never changed his outcome of his numbers. I'm just saying, Drake's still hitting up to the Michael Jackson and records and stuff like that, the Beatles and shit, so. I don't know how you feel about that one, but I see what you're saying though, Rose. Your bag, you a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind tell by my watch, this a different time. Living fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. I know if you bought that life, run up on people taking chains, Rose. I know. But if you bought that life, I know how your Miami boys go. You know what I'm saying? I've been around from the Uncle Luke them times, so I know but Miami. When it's rough towns. Right now I'll be settled down actually right about now to tell you the truth. Miami kinda set but you talking about the Uncle Luke times? It was rowdy in Miami, boy. On you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B I G or give Say so either y'all getting money or ready to die. He trying to say if you drink, if you ain't getting no money, you out here crying. Is, is, is that what you're trying to say? Slick, 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 slick vibe? Like, y'all don't check because when y'all don't get money, y'all don't know what to do with yourself in life. Y'all ready to just commit the suicide thing. That's a slick. If he's saying that, nice. You really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B.I.G. or give a fuck if you Chi Ali. You got it and you keep it tucked if you. Ah, I heard that Chi Ali reference before. Where have I heard that Chi Ali reference before? I haven't heard that for a long time. That sounded like from the early 2000s. Let me know if y'all can remember, pinpoint exactly what he mean with the Chi Ali. You be by me, do the job. Better known as the Charles Schwab. Double loss, spread through the yard, and I swear to God. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping the gangsters, when you see me, you check me. Said a lot in a little hook just now. I think that's a hook though what he's saying, but Drake, we ain't leaking it. He opened the line with saying this this is a job right at you, you know what I'm saying? Like putting your name on it to let you know this one is a Drake this. You know, no leak records, straight out the gate in your face. Go and count me a meal, kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we 
boy said kill it for free. I wouldn't even copyright this. But we can see after they dropping Rose. We can see. Speaking directly, if we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. I like the slick little eerie beat too. The eerie littleness. That, that, that fits nice with this little diss track. It's kind of like a funeral theme song. Like, hey, hey, hey kind of killing you on this track. Like a funeral kind of slow. Yeah, I approve. Well, I see you. I see you. Yeah. And then the soft slow vibe is. Okay, Rose, you're doing a lot. Check. Getting bullied, don't walk up on me because the clip is fully. Uh -huh. Niggas pussy don't want to push me. I'm like, really, Woody? Woo. Like his moves. But he never had a fight in school. Always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow. <laughs> like, boys, you had to do like when he was in school. Yeah, when there was them push you, when the bullies come up, you had to go run and get your big brother. You had to go run and get somebody else to fight your battle. So that you had to go. You, you, couldn't, you, you couldn't pen this one. So you had to go get big brother Ghost Rider to come and help you out on the track, eh? Hmm. But he never had a fight in school. Always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Weezy gave you the juice. Ooh. Another white boy at the park wanna hang with the crew. Pull it. White boy say another white boy at the park ready to hang with the crew. Remember, I used to say sometimes like in the who it was who had that picture up with the white boy with the movie where it was all about him, you know, wearing any cap backwards and chain and then trying to be one of the black folks trying to be cool like us, but he was a white boy. Trying to say that's what Drake trying to do, dude. Light skinned dude out here trying to be hardcore, trying to be soldier trying to be a ghetto dude <laughs> rose i mean i'm out of young money for giving him the spotlight because hey little wayne you say what you want little wayne picked a good one he picked two good ones back to back you can't get no bigger picks in the la you can't get no better draft picks than Nicki minaj in the female realm and drake in the male realm i'm, I'm just saying had a fight in school, always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Weezy gave you the juice. Another white boy at the park wanna hang with the crew. Pull it surprise when I'm switching up like dyed denim. Get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look me right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more. We know the big song with Drake and. Rick Ross stays scheming where well. I think Drake got a little sub shot for somebody on that one. <sighs> like Dad Denim, get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look me right in my face, he beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming, I predicted my fate. Got more money. I like how he just started off where he said he looked in my face, he beginning to shake. Told y'all I predicted my fate. I knew this was gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? This was inevitable. You fuck you want me to say 50 meals for the crib where you want me to stay I can shoot up the block I got bitches to paint let you DM my old but got bitches you can't Ooh. let you get on my songs it was good for your face now bitch nigga is home and no room for debate my boy say you getting on my songs at one point in time was good for your face Drake I don't know like, I, I don't know about that, Rick Ross. I mean, I may have to give you a little talk back on that one. Don't get me wrong. I still fucks with Ross. No diddy on the port of Miami scene. And to me, that's probably one of Rick Ross's, I wouldn't say classic record, but it's definitely a go-to. Like, you can't go wrong if you go back to port of Miami. Everything on that CD was just straight out the gate fire. So I don't know if you could say, at some point in time, Trey getting on your record, L boosted his face or kept his face and whatnot. I mean, I would, I could understand you saying with the whole white boy trying to be black and everything, trying to get cool with the black community. You had to get on my shit in order for that little transition to, to go to go over well to where dudes really start effing with you and putting you on features. Maybe that's what he's saying. And if that's what Rick Ross kind of talking about, I have to go back and check the fox on that one because I can't say off, off, off top. Had I seen any other features or more features come out to get after he started doing Rick Ross, maybe Ross could be onto something. That could be a debate up for in the comment section. That could be a good debate. Let's talk about it. Because I don't, I definitely don't see him saying that from the fact of Drake's numbers going up because he started rapping with him. I, I do. Not on that sector. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. I like the way you said, and you had to drop your ad lip by the back. Maybach music. That's the, you know, that's the ad lip drop, and you say more fire. No, they got a DJ say, more fire. 
yeah, that, that, that sounds of egg drop. That's what that is right there. That's that more fire drop. Like, hey, bro, you was out here praising me on stage. Don't forget. All right? Do not forget. Okay? And he backed it up right after he follow up with his... He dropped it right after he said the whole fact of, hey, you had to get on my for me to make your face a little bit more. Way to play chess move. Chess in diss tracks. I approve. I got a lot of respect for a lot of rappers, but I got one guy. He's my favorite person to rap on any song. His name is Rick Ross. We made that music. You ain't never want to be a nigga anyway, nigga. That's why you had an operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows, nigga. I don't follow you, nigga, cause you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. Not only say you flicking out here changing your face, you never wanted to be a dude, cause dudes don't do news operation type of thing to fit in your face. Is he low-key trying to call Drake a snitch, too? Woo! I don't follow you, nigga, cause you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. Oh, he sent the cease and desist to French Montana. I thought he was trying to say he sent the feds. Pardon me, pardon me. Let me, let me retract back what they say. Take back what they say. That ain't no snitch talk. That's just a cease and desist. It's like a, just saying like a little soft boy move that you did. I don't follow you, nigga, cause you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. I don't know what that was about though. What did he send French Montana cease and desist for? If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section because that one kind of evade me right there. So I, that's why I can't speak a little more on that line right there. The police nigga hating on my dog project. That one the same white boy that I seen nigga when we were making them early records nigga. When you were happy to be around nigga seeing niggas holding them sticks. Yeah. You old motherfucking stun of your life nigga. Get Wheezy some more money nigga. Get rap a lot some more money nigga. White boy. Yeah. My boy said go get Weezy some more, nigga. They're at Ross's petty. Biggest. It's Rose, nigga. We can do it how you want to do it, where you want to do it, anytime you want to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. Huh? I know you got your dockers on with no underwear, white boy. Yeah, you had that surgery, that six pack. Only white boys is do that for real, boys. Ross, no diddy. How you know he's be out here wearing dockers with no underwear? That's some different shit. I know you got your dockers on with no underwear, white boy. Yeah, you had that surgery, that six pack going. That's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, nigga. White boy. The cat died, the virus got everybody clowning on everybody. So now, let's see if we can follow this timeline of what's going on. Kendrick dropped the first flicking bazooka. The first, he let off the first cannon shot. J. Cole followed up. What's the first one? They go apologize, so we can't even count him in that now. Drake responds, not only send shots at Kendrick, send shots at Rick Ross, Metro Boomin, Future, slap all them up on the track, so I gotta actually Drake up. Kendrick, you gotta respond to Drake. But now here's the thing, Drake only did exactly what Kendrick did. He sent a line out, one or two lines out to Rose, and now you got Rose with a treatment of track. So Rose up now. Because he did this treatment of track, and I ain't gonna lie, Rose spitting some little fire in here. I mean, it ain't. I wouldn't say Rick Ross is what I would call a bottle dude anyway, but pen to paper. Do not forget, Ross has written some lines for not only himself, but some other dudes in the game. He has been behind the pen and scene for a little while as somewhat of a ghostwriter to some people, so Rose could flex. In a sense, Rose could flex. Drake up one on Kendrick right now. So Kendrick gotta respond to Drake. Right now, Ross up on Drake. Drake gotta respond to him now. Metro Boomin, you just if you, 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 you just gotta go set your ass down and make some beats. But look here, that's the most disrespectful line probably in the whole track. Cause let me tell you something, Metro Boomin, everywhere you go, this nigga could go to Burger King. And if he run too long with the customer, and, and, and the customer is a Drake fan, uh, the girl behind the counter, the girl behind the counter could be like, wait, did you shut your ass up, go make some drums. Wait on your fries, boy. Wait on this double, uh, um, wait on this six piece nuggets, yeah? Sit down, sit small till your name call. Metro Boomin, you can catch plenty of just for that one line. Go sit your ass down, go make some drums. Use a producer, producers don't supposed to be saying much. <laughs> but I like it, I all about it. I here for the competition and the flicking levels of smoke that coming out of this whole hip hop scene. This is so refreshing. This is probably like I say, the most fun I've had in front of this camera for 
the three years that I've been on YouTube, I am up, my energy is up all the way up. I don't even need no monster no more. The water could cover it because the energy level is there. So let me know how y'all feel about this. Just try from Rose. Do y'all think this warrants a response from Drake? I feel like this warrants a response from Drake just because of one or two little things. And he said, and I saw the little tweet where Ops is like, his mom texts him, is like, I hear you out here getting a nose job. And then Drake responds, you know how Drake is clown on day. He's like, Mom, if I had to get a two for one deal, if I didn't know I was getting a nose job, I'd get a two for one and get you one at the same time. Time, huh? But I, I don't notice dudes pictures that much to notice if a dude get a nose job and whatnot. The, I go to show you how much these dudes is really pay attention and follow other little things just so they could get a little bullet and a little clip to put in the chamber. Like I would have never thought to go look at Drake's old pictures, to his new pictures, and I like mine that much to even go back and look at his old pictures and look at his new pictures to confirm for myself to see if he have a fake nose. Because to be honest, I don't be on that run with the whole uh, looking for girls with eyelashes and all this little fake stuff and going through surgery and facials and implants and liposuction and no. So for me, if Drake got a nose job, he got a nose job. If he didn't, he didn't. For so a dude like me, I really don't give two shits. So, but to them in the diss track world, that could be used as a clip in the chamber. So, let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Road to 50k. Definitely drop that like, drop the subscribe. Peace, health, and wealth. Stay favorite, you know, I'd be grateful. Rose. Hey, peace out.